We all know the story of the oil sands and how we turn this marginal resource into our world-class source of oil. And we did that with technology and with government support. Now, what if I told you there's another industry in Alberta, another resource, that needs just a little bit of government support to get it going? And even better, what if that industry used Alberta's existing oil and gas skill set? In fact, for people looking for work right now, their skills are exactly the skills needed to energize a geothermal energy future. That's tremendously good news at a time like this in our provinces and cities' history, when tens of thousands of people are looking for ways, creative ways, to repurpose and redeploy their oil and gas skill set. Now, why am I so confident that their skill set, my skill set, can be used in the new renewable energy economy? Well, imagine my surprise when about 15 years ago, while I was working at Suncor, I discovered that another oil company, Chevron, is the world's largest geothermal producer. Well, that got me thinking. But of course that made sense. Geothermal needs wells to produce it, and oil and gas are people, myself, maybe you, we're exactly the type of people who can drill really, really well and find the resource and make good use of it. However, for the past 10 years, I've been trying to get the geothermal industry started. I've been told at times it's too risky, it's too hard to find economical quantities of heat or flow rate. But here's the thing. Have a look at this map. There are over 400,000 wells drilled in this province, and every single well has its own unique data set with it, giving us information on its depth, its temperature, its pressure, its flow rate, and even more information. It's that map and those databases that are exactly what we need in this province to de-risk the geothermal industry. And in fact, I believe that we can have the industry start right here in Alberta and have it flourish. Here's an interesting thing. There are over 80 countries all over the world who for the past 100 years have been making use of geothermal wells. Those hot wells I just talked about in the map. Maybe you can find one that appeals to you. And this is where I believe that the oil and gas engineers, the geoscientists, the drilling crews, we can all constructively collide with imagineers, and we can start to think about how to give new life to those wells, to those pieces of infrastructure left out in the field. And perhaps we can use them for new things, such as heating greenhouses, heating livestock, making small amounts of electricity called microelectricity, and even my favorite, man-made hot springs. And when we get good at co-producing oil and gas with geothermal energy, perhaps we can go back through our inventory of suspended, orphaned, and even abandoned wells and repurpose them for geothermal energy as well. Now, I know it can be difficult to think about what a geothermal facility might look like and the benefits it might bring to a community, as none of these facilities have yet been built in Canada. But I'm proud to say today that there is such a project being built. It's going to provide microelectricity and local food to a community of about 1,000 people. It will also demonstrate commercial uses of renewable heat and commercial and industrial uses as well. In fact, we have a brewery and biomass operations and even home heating, all part of this project. We call it Sustainable. And Sustainable was incubated right here with my colleagues in the Energy Futures Lab. And it's brought to you by an Albertan company, the one I work for, Borealis Geopower. The job creation opportunities don't stop or even begin at Borealis Geopower. We'll be hiring all throughout the supply chain. So think about drilling crews, engineers, those geoscientists, but also welders, pipeliners. Everyone who could possibly be working in the oil and gas industry now could be working on a geothermal energy project. And it doesn't stop there. Our heat customers are also staffing up. They're looking at hiring management and marketers and accountants and laborers and aquaculture and agriculture technicians. I think it all starts with one well. Just like Leduc number one in our provincial history that kicked off a thriving natural gas industry. Remember that first slide I showed of a small oil sands project that put our natural resources on the world stage? I think that we could have sustainable geothermal projects all across this province. 
but I need your help. I need you to tell the provincial and federal governments it's time to bring geothermal energy to Alberta and to Canada. I've made it easy for you to help. All you have to do is go on to powerful.org, put in your name and your postal code, and hit the send button. What you'll be doing is sending a policy letter to your federal and provincial government representatives asking for a minor policy change that could create a major geothermal boom. I believe that Alberta has the resources, the technology, and the people, and that by acting together, we all can be powerful.